Hello everyone and welcome back to the van build. There has been quite a few improvements since the last time we saw you so yeah I'm pretty excited to show you the updates. Today we're going to be hopefully finishing the roof uh, so yeah let's get into it. I'll show you the updates. So we finally started the electrics. We've got two 120 ampere AGM batteries got a solar MPPT charge controller with uh, 300 watts of solar on the roof. I'm pretty short so I can't show you that. I'll maybe get up on the ladder later. And yeah, DP switch to isolate the solar and we've got a wee fuse board as well to sort out the rest of our stuff. So yeah, it's pretty exciting. Yeah, obviously I didn't film the start of the electrical system but it was pretty stressful so we wanted to make sure we got it right so I had the camera away but yeah we've also got our bed frame up we've got the mid slats from Ikea as well which is pretty good but they don't sell the mounts individually uh, so yeah we're gonna have to order them online somewhere but we'll find them and I'm sure it'll be good and yeah so like I said today we're gonna get on with finishing the roof adding in the lights to the electrical system as well because they're going in the roof obviously but um yeah we've got a light switch so bit of a fail there but we'll get them wired up and we'll add the switch a bit later on doing the insulation on the roof is burning my eyeballs with the fiberglass going in my eyes so got the snazzy smith goggles on to get it done Looking good. We're almost halfway there with the roof insulation now. I think it is actually my least favourite job in the van. I hate insulating so much. But the goggles are doing me well and Sean's just been finishing off the battens. Yeah, so we can get the cladding up as well. together which is good but yeah I'm just gonna crack on with getting this vapor barrier on the roof which is a shiter of a job but um yeah should be awesome and Sean's just gonna start cutting the woods for the sliders in the back so we should finally have the bikes on a slider under the bed so yeah pretty excited to get that done and yeah we'll see if we get onto the lights but <sighs> the vapor barrier is taking a lot longer than I thought I am severely regretting not going for a spray foam at this point, but yeah, you live and you learn, there's not a lot to do about it now. a bit of ply for the slider we're just assessing how many bikes we can fit in and how close we can get them Sean's just getting out his meaty bike now which is going to take up all the room <laughs> oh it's exciting two mountain bikes are in and we've actually got quite a lot of space might even be able to fit four bikes. I thought it was gonna only be three bikes in the back, but we might get the four, which will be amazing. Cause that means we can bring our road and mountain bikes where we go. So yeah, no more limited trips. Maybe need to be race. Come on, Brian. <laughs> Think of things. <laughs> this is a recurring theme with our build. But Sean has upgraded the wood drying tool to a heat gun <laughs> rather than my revolution hair dryer. <laughs> Scotland van build issues. Mm -hmm. 
Very nice. First sleigh there is built by the mighty Sean. I have been <laughs> slaving away at this horrible vapor barrier. Yeah, three bikes in there. So we have finally finished the insulation and the vapor barrier in the van. Actually, bar the side door, which I've now just remembered, which is making me slightly depressed. But um, yeah. We are finally on to fitting the roof. I think we're just going to manage one panel tonight with the lights in because yeah, we've been at it for over seven hours now. But excited with the progress we've made. Hello everyone, it's a new day. We're feeling refreshed. Uh, I'd kind of lost the will to live the other night when we were finishing off the van, so yeah. I just stopped filming and went to my bed, <laughs> pretty much. But yeah, we're back and I'll let you guys know where we got to the other night. Yeah, so we got the lights wired up. There's the switch. And yeah, we started getting some of the cladding up, but it's taking quite a while to get it cut and stuff. And since we're working on the van after work, it's pretty late. So yeah, can't really be using the power tools that late at night, but we're getting there. And yeah, we're hoping to get away in it next weekend with some of the guys from work and we're going to head up to Fort William and ride the uplift. So yeah, the race is on to finish the bed for that. We've got the lights and then we should just be able to get away with a wee camping stove and a couple of camping chairs for next weekend. Can't wait to help Fort William because actually I've never ridden the uplift there. I've only ever ridden the lower trails. So it'll be really cool to help the World Cup track, Top Chief and the New Blue as well, which looks super fun. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the updates of the van. We're getting there slowly but surely. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Thank you.